It's the magical, dun, dun, mystical, dun, magic, dun, rainy, dun, flashy on movement. Hey, what's up, Randy? It's Wednesday, also known as February 15th, also known as my sister's birthday, also known as the day after Valentine's Day. Great video yesterday, or Monday-ish, or whatever you said it was. The facts you gave seemed a lot more valid than what I had in my mind. My first grade teacher told me that St. Valentine was a guy who kept Valentine's in his hat and wrote them out to everybody and just handed them out because he loved the world! Not that he was some persecuted priest who loved a jailer's daughter. Yeah. Kind of a big difference there. And I do agree with your statement about holiday origins being sketchy. Main example, Jesus, not born on Christmas, didn't die on Easter. We just picked some random dates, or what we kind of thought was around the time of when he was born and dead. You know, you need some holidays and some cold times, and you need Easter bunnies hopping around giving out eggs. Wait, that's not what Easter's about? So anyways, yesterday was Valentine's Day. Happy Hearts Day. Happy Singles Awareness Day, even though that is kind of annoying, like you said, Randy. I mean, I can't say I'm not guilty of saying it before, but at the same time, just enjoy what you have. Enjoy your family and friends that are around you, and enjoy all the company that you have. Valentine's Day is a day to show that you love and care about the people in your life. Maybe not a specific person, but a group of friends or family or something. Just show them that you care with your love and affection, in corporate America, usually with gifts. So, I had someone special to celebrate Valentine's Day with this year, whose name, like the Yeti, will remain unconfirmed. For now, we'll just call her the Rooster. So, it being Valentine's Day, I decided to do something kind of special for the Rooster. Albeit cliche, but it's the cliche things in life that are usually the most true and the most heartfelt. I got her Colombian roses, which are yellow, which are pretty freaking awesome roses. I made her a CD with my own personal song and a few other songs that we enjoy. Uh, I bought her candy that she could consume, like red vines, which are amazing, and Swedish fish, which are also amazing. And I set it up on a beach at sunset. Yeah, pretty cliche romantic, right? Yeah, well, it was it's special, though, because... We were basically the only couple on the beach, except for some other random couple having a candlelight dinner about 20 feet away, which was interesting. But we spent basically about three hours just sitting there enjoying each other's company on the beach. And I think that's the most valuable thing about Valentine's Day, is that you're spending time with the people that you care about and that you love. And you show it to them in creative, maybe cliche, but creative and loving ways. And that's where Valentine's Day comes into play. Like Randy said, a half and a half doesn't necessarily make a whole. You have to give more than that. You, you give one and a half of yourself. You give, you give yourself, but then you give more. You're like three halves of yourself. Give three halves of yourself. But multiply yourselves together. Three halves, three halves, nine fourths, you know? That's pretty cool. Yeah? Yeah, and I don't know where I was going with that. I'm sorry. I just tried to play off what you said yesterday, Randy. Because you're smart. I didn't do research. I'm sorry! That was a weird boy! The most valuable piece of information I received in this past week is that you don't have to wait for a specific day to show the person you love that you love them. The best type of love is the love that is spontaneous and just shows them whenever you can or whenever you feel is appropriate just because that you love them. Just throw a special occasion just because. Just give them flowers just because. Throw them a party just because. Take them to dinner just because. Because what? because you love them. That's why. Hope you had a great day, Randy. Hope you had a great Valentine's Day. I know I did. Kind of a short vlog today, but you know, just following up on what you had to say and my two cents. Uh, so yeah, like, comment, rate, subscribe, show this to your friends if you liked it, and Randy, I will see you on Friday. I felt very vlog brotherish right there. Am I the Hank in this? I guess I'm the Hank because I have the blonder hair and the glasses and then, well, I guess John, okay. Take that back. Okay, uh, I'm just, we're just brothers, not actually brothers. We're the random friend-brother people things.